Many businesses set up virtual local area networks, VLANs, to divide their network into smaller, segmented virtual networks. Why are VLANs so popular? Well, they reduce broadcast traffic, improving network performance. They enhance security by isolating sensitive data or systems. And they simplify network management, making it easier to apply a specific policy or permission to a group. The number of VLANs and the purpose for them can be set up to fit your needs. For example, one company may set up VLANs by department with sales, marketing, accounting, management, etc. Another company may just want VLANs for employees, guests, and voice over IP phones. The Cisco Business mobile app lets you deploy and manage supported Cisco Business CBS switches and CBW access points in your network from a mobile device. One of the benefits of using the app is that when you configure settings on one CBS switch, you can easily apply them to other CBS switches in the network. This feature saves time and helps ensure consistency across multiple devices. In this episode of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll show you how to use the Cisco Business mobile app to create VLANs and apply them to multiple Cisco business switches. Next. Before performing any configurations in the Cisco Business mobile app, make sure it's been updated to the latest available version. This ensures that you have access to the latest features, bug fixes, and compatibility with supported devices. Additionally, to manage and monitor devices in the app, you need the supported devices connected. There are two options to make this happen. You can either set up new devices using the app, or you can migrate existing devices that were already configured onto the app. In this network, I have a CBW150 access point, a CBS250 and a CBS350 switch. Open the app and select your site. I'll select my network named Cisco Business Mobile App. Click on the Network Devices section to see your connected devices. I'll choose my CBS350 switch by tapping it. Click the Actions button and then Device Network Settings. Next to the Networks heading, select the Edit icon. You can see that the only VLAN on this switch right now is VLAN 1. This is the default that comes on all CBS switches. To add a new VLAN, tap Add Another Network. Specify the name and VLAN ID for the network you want to add. I'll create VLAN 10 and name it Marketing. Click Save. Here, you can see the new VLAN that was created. Repeat this process to create all needed VLANs. If you ever want to delete a VLAN, that can be done here by clicking on the Edit icon next to the one you wish to delete. When your VLANs are set the way you want them, tap Confirm Network Setup and then Next. Since I want these VLANs added to the CBS250 switch as well, I'll check the box for the CBS250. If you have multiple switches, you can select them all. Once set, click Apply Changes. The wizard will create a backup of the current configuration of the switch. Then, as the changes are applied, the screen will show progress updates. Once it's complete, tap Done. That's all there is to it. The VLANs you created have been added to all of the switches you selected. What a great time saver. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.